guys. Hey guys. So basically this video, you probably clicked on it because you saw that it's what I would do if I had 24 hours left to live. Um, and I just have a little bit of background about it because I was not good at vlogging and explaining it. So basically these clips are taken over a period of two or three days, but I'm going to walk you through everything that happens in the video so that you understand some of the things that we were talking about. And at the end there's going to be a montage about like making your life, like centering your life around you being the main character and stuff. So yeah, I'm excited for that. But basically I was editing this video that you're watching right now and I realized that I didn't do a good job of explaining in the video what is happening. And so I feel like I owe it to you to tell you everything that we did. So, the first thing that you're going to see in this video is me waking up for sunrise. Um, this was an exciting time. I love waking up for sunrise. And I just wanted to show you guys all that you need to wake up at 5 a.m. and see the sunrise when you're on vacation. And it's just an incredible, like, you get to see, you get to just be in awe of what you have and so I don't have a clip for when everyone went to sunrise um the day that I was set to video this 24-hour challenge no one but my dad woke up to go with me so that was kind of sad but you know it is what it is so these are the clips right here okay so uh don't really know how I do this but this is what I do if I have 24 hours to live. Um, first thing, I'm going to watch the sunrise on the beach. And bike. Here's my dad. Oh. Good morning, guys. Today, we woke up for the sunrise. Um, yeah, it's currently 6.07, we got up at like 5.30, or 5.15. Anyways, there's the sun. It's so pretty. So that was us waking up for sunrise. Then, you see, this next clip is us jumping off the dock at my place my beach condo on the water and we're jumping off the dock and this just kind of shows you like just go out and do what you want to do be free just jump you know and it was like, so much fun um and so Mallory and Julia jumped off and then me and Julia jumped off and it was Honestly, so relaxing to just like jump off the dock. So here's those clips. Ready? Three, Three two, two, one. so so much fun this year um I was supposed to go up with my dad because I mean I was supposed to go up with my brother because he wanted to go parasailing with us but then he happened to leave the day before we went parasailing because just stuff happened and he left with my stepmom so my dad went up with me and Julia and Mallory went up so when you watch the clips it's Julia and Mallory going up first and I like say that and then it's me and my dad and you'll see a couple clips from that. So there those are. Okay, 
Okay, next thing we did was we went to the beach, and going to the beach is a ton of fun, and I just feel like that's something that, like, you have to do if, like, you're putting your life as, like, the main character, you know, and, like, living your life as if it's your last. Go to the beach. Have fun. When you're at the beach, go to the beach. Um, and I don't have mini clips from the beach, specifically, so it's just gonna be a couple clips of me skimboarding, I guess, which is also in a different vlog, but there's those clips. Look at her go, folks. Look at it. Fans. music and God's beauty and just singing at the top of my lungs and just having a dance party and it's just honestly the best feeling ever. Like I love just being in awe of what God has given me. I have a amazing show by the way. It's such a pure moment that I was in every time I'd like pick up my Bible or my journal and start journaling or reading. It was just like such a pure moment and that's what I love about reading God's Word. It's It just like speaks to me and it's just amazing. So I'm, I was reading Matthew. I'm still reading Matthew but I encourage you to pick up your Bible or read a book. I read a book the whole time I was down at the beach. We went to the beach, I had a book, and it was just so loving and just so freeing. It just felt so good to read. The next thing that I want to talk about is meeting people. So, I know when you go to the beach and you go with friends, you always want to meet people and stuff like that, but I highly encourage you, be bold. Go ask those people to hang out. Go ask them if they want to go swimming or throw the football. I highly encourage that. I don't have clips, like I don't have videos of us um, with these people, but I have pictures of it. I have three pictures um, from us meeting these three kids and their families, but um, it just, it's amazing. I highly encourage it. So. 
We met Lincoln, Henley, and Sarah. And then we met Sarah's sister, which is Blair. And I don't have a picture with him, but Lincoln and Henley are brothers, and they're, they have another brother, but he had an ear infection the whole time, and his name is Kale. And their parents were the sweetest people I think I've ever met. And we hung out with them. The day, the day we met them, they were leaving the next day, so we didn't get but literally less than 24 hours with them. But I can honestly say, on behalf of me, Mallory, and Julia, that that was one of the best 24-hour periods with, like, basically strangers when we met them that we've ever had. It was, we clicked immediately, and we just vibed the rest of the day. And we hung out with them at their beach house, and then the next morning we woke up for sunrise, so you have a picture of us at the beach, and then we have a picture in their pool, just playing games, and then we have a picture at sunrise the next morning, the day they, they were leaving, and we woke, they woke up for sunrise, and then we went to Krispy Kreme after that, and then we went back and we helped them pack, and then we sent them off, and it was so sad to watch them leave, but... We have their snaps and stuff, and I even Snapchat Lincoln yesterday, and I was like, do you want me to put you guys in this video? And he's like, of course. So, it's so much fun. And, yes, if y'all are watching this, what's up? We miss y'all like crazy, and so glad we met y'all. Last thing, eat whatever you want. Literally, eat whatever you choose to eat. Um, we had donuts for breakfast. Me and my dad went and had donuts for breakfast and we took them home while Julia and Mallory were still sleeping. Um, I made homemade ice cream so many times and it was bomb but you know when you think about it it was probably super like everything was super probably unhealthy but if you have 24 hours left to live are you really going to care about your dieting? No. So Eat whatever you want, um, would not tell you to eat whatever you want every single day of your life, but eat what you want in increments, maybe, and yeah, it's just, I don't know, I love this video, this video is so good, um, so, meet new people, jam out whenever the heck you want to, go jump off the dock, go to the beach when you're at the beach, have fun, <laughs> Um, go parasailing, wake up for sunrise, be in complete awe of God's beauty, just go live your life to the fullest. Each and every day. Try new things too. I tried skimboarding the week before I went to Dustin, and it's the best thing ever. So, highly recommend all of that stuff. With all that being said... Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and comment down below other video ideas or any other things that you can think of that living your life to the fullest would be. And I can make a second video. This video wasn't that good. And I'm actually going to make another video, most likely, of me actually doing, like, for 24 hours straight since these clips are from a couple days. Um... For 24 hours straight, I'm actually going to live my life as I would if it was my last day. Um, and yeah. So, give me other ideas. Um, subscribe, turn on your notifications, and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to stay positive. Throw kindness like confetti, because you never know who's finding my spell. See you guys in the next one. Bye! You have to start romanticizing your life. You have to start thinking of yourself as the main character. Because if you don't, Life will continue to pass you by, and all the little things that make it so beautiful will continue to go unnoticed. So take a second, and look around, and realize that it's a blessing for you to be here right now.